Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are testing all new makeup. I have some new brands, some brand new hyped products, so I wanted to do a full face today. I'm actually gonna be trying out a bunch of the new Polite Society brand, which is at Ulta Beauty. This is by the original creators of Too Faced, Jared Blandino and Jeremy Johnson. They created a new makeup line at Ulta since they no longer are working with Too Faced. We also have the House Labs concealer that's been super hyped up and also I have a Merit cream shadow to use. So a ton of new things. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is some skin prep and I just received the newest Charlotte Tilbury skincare launch. I'm so excited about this. This is the Magic Water Cream from her line and if you guys are familiar with one of her best sellers, the Magic Cream from her, it's expensive, but it is such a loved moisturizer. Tons of celebrity makeup artists use it, and it's been around for years. So she finally came out with a version for us oily skin people, and I'm just so pumped about this because I love the Magic Cream, but sometimes it's just too much for my skin. So I feel like this will be perfect to use day and night since it's more of a gel cream formula. It's also supposed to train your skin barrier to retain more moisture, and and probably the most exciting thing, this is actually fragrance free, which if you guys are familiar with the regular magic cream, that one is very highly scented, very perfume like, and this one has no fragrance. So I am just so excited that she finally came out with this new version. It feels so good on the skin. So we're using this as our kind of skin prep today and I won't be doing a different primer. I'll just do this on the skin. So just to get our skin nice and moisturized since oftentimes the regular magic cream is used as a base for makeup. So I wanted to say that it just launched I think today and I'm very excited. It's still really pricey but I don't know something about the original magic cream I've always really loved and I've always repurchased but I'm so excited for this new version. Now that our skin is nice and moisturized we can try out this foundation. So I went ahead and ordered these online and I stopped in stores yesterday and they actually did have the whole setup in stores. It's a small little section where they're selling this. It's just like just launched it's straight to Ulta which is crazy. Um, so I picked up the more than a pretty face skin caring foundation. Foundation. I kind of want to see if this compares to any of like Too Faced formulas. When I looked at the ingredients, it didn't seem like it had the same ingredients as any of the other Too Faced things. So I just wanted to see, is this brand going to be like a Too Faced 2.0 or is it going to be new and exciting? Now I know that these are clean <laughs> skin formulas and I think more targeted towards maybe Gen Z and the younger generation, but I really wanted to try it out and see what it's all about. I do like the packaging, I will say, on the foundation. I think it's fun, different, something I haven't really seen been done before, and then here is the pump on it. So this has niacinamide in the formula, willow bark, and vegan hyaluronic acid. It's also made in the USA, which is really cool. The description on this one says that this is more than just a foundation. It's skincare meets makeup created using only vegan, non-toxic, and good-for-you ingredients that help support healthy skin function. Next-generation long-wearing weightless pigments mimic real skin to quickly and completely cover correct and treat skin for comfortable perfection. It's also non-comedogenic, which I'm excited about that too because I do have acne-prone skin, and that usually means it's not going to clog the pores. I usually use about one one and a half pumps of product and we're gonna blend this into the skin it does seem a little light right now for me and this neutral leans more on the yellow side in my opinion I do have a little self tan on so that could be part of the problem but overall the formula seems very moisturizing and hydrating and it seems like it has like a medium coverage to it I'm just trying to get this all blended in because it is a little I would say on the thicker side so it's gonna take a little extra blending so here's how the skin looks it actually does look very pretty on the skin but it is just a thick formula which I don't know if I'm going to love so we'll have to see how this sits on the skin I think next time I use this, I would definitely go in with a little bit less product. Next, let's do some eyeshadow. I have the new Marriott Solo Shadow. They sent me one shade and a little brush to apply it. So I picked out the shade Mid-Century. These just launched. It does have very luxurious packaging. 
yeah it's a nice matte kind of caramel brown i'm excited to try this one out i've been all about just like one and done single shadows eye pencil sticks lately because it's just so easy to work with so i'm gonna use their little shadow brush too this looks like it's gonna be a nice brush too and i think you can buy this i think you have to buy them separately though so just dipping into the product and then we'll apply straight to the lids just making sure I'm saturating the whole eye and then we'll blend it up a little bit. Now it starts out very creamy, but I'm noticing this dry down pretty quickly and it almost sets to like a powder finish. So I'm just gonna try and blend those edges just a bit. But so far, I think this is a beautiful shade and I love this brush to apply it. I'm gonna use this for all of my cream shadows. Now, I didn't put any eye primer on, so we'll have to see how this holds up on its own, if there's any creasing, patchiness, anything like that. But so far, I think if you work with it quickly and get it all blended out, I feel like it works really nice. And I like this color a lot. This makes me want to try out more of their shades. I feel like they didn't have many shimmers in the line, though. I'm going to take the little pencil-y side and we'll place this along, along the lower part of the eye. And this side would actually be so fun to use for like a winged liner if you just want to do a colored wing on the lid. I think that would be really cool, but I'm just kind of spreading this out. We can go in and buff it with the other side just to get that all blended. So far, I like this. I love the brush. This is the shade, again, mid-century if you kind of want this more caramel, warm-toned shadow. I am noticing, though, my lid is not wanting... Okay, you have to make sure you really squeeze that lid on because it kind of locks into place. You want to hear that lock so you can make sure it's not loose and rattling around. So now that that's done, let's try the House Labs Concealer. This was available for one day early. I don't know why Sephora does that. Kind of odd, but I guess it's coming back probably in September. So I had to grab this one because everyone loves the foundation from her line, which I think is nice, but it's not always the best for oily skin. Um, but I'm kind of curious about the concealer, though. This is called the Triclone Skin Tech Concealer Corrector. And it says it's going to seamlessly conceal, brighten, and blur with 20-plus skincare ingredients. Here's what the packaging looks like. It's like a frosted glass similar to the foundation. I picked out the shade 03 Fair Rosy. It's a nice big fluffy doe foot. It seems like it's gonna be really creamy. So we'll just blend this in the skin. I was worried this would be too thick because it does go on kind of thick looking. But I mean, it's blending really nicely, ultra creamy, and it's definitely looking like skin. I just wanna add a teeny dot more and blend with my finger to see, because this will help just really melt that product in. Here's what it looks like close up. So it's definitely more of a skin-like appearance. I am setting this with my Givenchy Rose Powder, the Prism line. I always use this for my under eyes. It gives just a nice soft brightening effect and smooths everything. Now we're back to the Polite Society line. I picked up pretty much everything they had. This is their greatest lashes of all time <laughs> mascara. It says legendary volume lift in length. It does not look like the Too Faced better than sex at all. I actually got a mini in this. I love that the brand came out with minis and full sizes. I also think the packaging is really nice on this and it has like raised lettering. And this brush is really like nice and thin and I feel like this is going to give so much length to the lashes. So I'm excited to try this one. Let me get nice and close here. I'm actually shocked. I love lengthening formulas like this. This is so pretty. It's not clumpy. It's just nice separating and super lengthening. It feels a little wet as well, which I'm sure it will dry out a bit as I've opened it and it just needs like a couple weeks to sit, but I usually never like mascaras when I first try them out. We'll get the lower lashes as well. This is a great lower lash mascara because you can really get in there to coat each lash. So here's how the lashes look. Honestly, this is going to be a new favorite if this does not smear on me today. 
but I am so impressed so far with this mascara. Okay, I did my brows already. I am gonna go in with this Yensa Silk Bronzing Base on the cheeks. I really need to bronze up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and contour with this. This is a pretty natural shade, I will say. If you are very fair, I could probably use maybe one shade a little darker, but it's a beautiful effortless cream bronzer, which is very easy to blend. Next, we can dive in to this from Polite Society. This is their Go Flush Yourself Blush and Glow Cheek, Pal Cheek Palette. I feel like that seems like a very Too Faced name, but the packaging is pretty cute on this one. Oh no, mine is cr crumbled. I didn't know it was crumbled. I got a broken shade. <laughs> I'll have to show you guys, I'll insert a clip of what this looks like. I will need to repress that one, but we're not gonna use that shimmer. But yeah, I'll need to repress this one and I'll show you guys a clip of what it looks like. I was wondering if one of these would be a cream, but they all feel like just very soft powders. They swatch really good too, besides the one shade that's broken, but I mean, that looks pretty. I'm actually going to dip into this peach it's like the matte peach of the palette. And we'll place this on the cheeks. Oh, this is actually really pigmented. I really wasn't expecting it to be this pigmented. I don't know if it's because it has some of the loose broken powders from the blush that shattered, but we'll try to get this all blended. But I'm, yeah, I'm kind of shocked about that. I was expecting them to be a little bit lighter. So I'm actually going to try and tone it down on this side because it got a little crazy just using my foundation brush but overall I think this is a really pretty blush palette and beautiful formula I think the only thing is if these colors might be a little too similar to have four shades of peachy corals in a palette but if they do ever come out with individual blushes I think they would be stunning I am going to go ahead and set my entire face using the one size powder this is a nice mattifying powder for me, so I could really see how this will work with the foundation. And then lastly, I'm so curious to try this new product from Polite Society as well. It's called Big Mouth or B-I-G Mouth. I don't know why it's um, abbreviated. This is a lip plumping oil gloss. Now, I know that Too Faced created one of the first lip plumpers. I'm pretty sure they were one of the first at least, and that's always been a staple for them, so I was like, is this going to be the same thing? But since it's called a plumping oil gloss, I'm really curious about this. I really do not need any extra plumping. I just got my lips touched up literally yesterday. So I'm a little nervous to use this, but we're going to try it. I hope it doesn't sting as much as the Too Faced one. This one has blueberry oil in it to hydrate. The Infinity Pepper, which is going to add in the plumping. And then Ginger Root Oil for volumizing. Alright, let's try this out. I also bought a mini size of this so cute again with the nice raised lettering so here's what my lips look like before applying this is really going to <laughs> this is really going to hurt i feel like since my lips are already swollen and kind of painful but let's do it if i need to immediately take it off i will so i can see that this is more of an oil because it's not sticky at all it has that slicky oil feel to it I can feel the slight tingling sensations already, so we will let this sit a minute and hope that this doesn't get too crazy. So here's how the makeup looks. Honestly, it does look beautiful. I'm curious to see how this foundation is going to hold up, so I'm going to wear this for at least five hours, and I'll come back and update you guys and see how everything is looking, but so far... I'm actually kind of impressed with this Polite Society line. I really thought it was just going to be a cash grab, but the products seem pretty good so far. Besides the fact that this lip is completely burning right now, um, I'm hoping that's going to subside <laughs> soon. But, I mean, it definitely plumps if you're looking for the plump. Of course, that is going to be temporary, but it gives a nice juicy look. So, I will see you guys in a bit after we've worn our makeup for a little longer. Okay, guys, we're back. It's been about six hours now that I've had this makeup on it. As you can see, it's a little darker in here. The sun is setting. And I'm actually so impressed with, like, how good 
the face still looks after six hours usually I'm getting pretty oily by this time but let's start with the foundation so here's what it looks like on me it's just starting to get a little bit of my oils just now starting to come through it is breaking up a little on my chin and then caking here um, above my lip a little bit but I'm honestly kind of impressed by how long this has lasted on me with having oily skin I thought this was going to be more hydrating since it says it's a skin caring foundation and all we used with it was a moisturizer so maybe this Charlotte Tilbury stuff really does help I'm just kind of surprised how this looks I know initially I wasn't sure about it because it went on pretty thick a little hard to blend I would say the shade maybe oxidized a smidge too because now it looks just about right on me at first it was super light so it may be one to check out if you are normal to oily but yeah I don't know if you have dry skin if you would like this one just because of all the cakiness that I am getting around my mouth it's definitely starting to wear it down a bit I don't know if this would be a top tier foundation but it actually has held up quite well for me and I definitely want to try this out a couple more times it definitely did better than I thought the house labs concealer has also held up very well in our under eye area um, I'm just getting like a very slight start of creasing right here but honestly I think this holds up so well a lot better than a lot of my other concealers it's not as full coverage as I thought it was going to be because it goes on kind of thick but then it does blend out into more of a skin like finish I think this is going to be a hit I know there's been so many good concealers out lately so it's so hard because every brand has launched a concealer I feel like this summer but I do think this is going to be a top contender I'm really impressed by how this has worn it doesn't age you my under eyes doesn't settle into fine lines it just looks pretty good under there now this merit cream shadow I was really impressed first trying it out but I'm noticing now as I have been wearing it it definitely has creased now again I didn't use the eye primer but I usually don't when it comes to single shadows or creams and stuff like that because usually they're supposed to have a pretty like long wearing power but yeah it's definitely creased here and faded and it definitely does not look as good as when we applied it but yeah there's a huge crease where my eye folds so I'm not too happy about that I will try it out with a primer and I'll let you guys know if that changes anything plus this packaging is just weird how you have to really squeeze it shut I will say though I love the brush and <laughs> I would totally recommend using this with your cream shadows um, I'll have it linked if I can find it but yeah I'm just not sure about this if this is worth trying out I think there's better ones on the market now this mascara has really impressed me today I have no smudging no flaking completely not even in the same level as the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara it's so good I, I don't know I feel like I'm the most shocked by this because mascaras it takes a lot to impress me when I'm buying like a high-end mascara but I thought this was great I love how long it makes my lashes look and it lasts I also thought this cheek palette was very pretty now again I had to try to press my highlight shade in there so we didn't really get to try that out today but I still feel like we have some beautiful color to the cheeks the shades are nice and soft I just think it's a little repetitive because it does contain all shades of basically peaches and I would like to see a little bit more variety when I'm getting a few different blushes in a palette maybe like a pinky rose color included with the corals it is a really nice blush formula and it has lasted on the skin so the quality is great I just think it's too much of kind of the same thing going on here and then the lip oh my gosh this was so intense this is not what I have on now obviously it's a lip oil gloss so it's gonna be fading throughout the day the pain it finally subsided after like 20 minutes this stuff is intense so <laughs> be wary of that but I did like the formula and it kind of brings just a really pretty color to the lips with like the plumping effect so I like it but it's definitely it's a lot so <laughs> it's not gonna be for everyone for sure so that's kind of my thoughts on everything so far I'm actually very surprised about the polite society brand I feel like this was one I was just gonna write off I was like this is probably just another cash grab or a Too Faced 2.0 and I don't know it seems like they have actually some good products here starting out so that's it for this video any products we use I'll link down below as well as have here in the shopping section and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys